morning. My name is Mark Siomo. I'm the chairman of Ways and Means and the district councilor representing Austin Brighton. Today is Thursday, September 26th. We are here with our friends from the Treasury Department, Drew Smith and Rich DiPiano, uh, regarding docket 1265, message in order authorizing the issuance of tax exempt refunding bonds in a principal amount not to exceed $150 million in order to pay the principal redemption premium, if any, and interest on the bonds or other obligations to be refunded and other costs. Uh, I'd like to remind folks this is a public hearing being uh, broadcast live and recorded on Comcast Channel 8, RCN 82, Verizon 1964, and streamed at boston.gov backslash city-council-tv. I'd ask everybody to silence any electronic devices. We do accept public testimony at various points throughout the hearing. There is a sign-in sheet to my left by the door. I ask that you state your, uh, uh, document your name, affiliation, uh, and residence, please. Uh, again, I'd like to welcome Drew and Rich uh, to pre present their um, case for this refunding. Thanks. Thanks very much, Chairman. Uh, as you'd mentioned, we come with a request, but also with good news. Uh, Treasury is specifically requesting additional refunding authorization of $150 million uh, to conduct not only an upcoming anticipated refunding transaction, but also to provide flexibility for future refunding transactions if we feel that they arise and we'd like to enter the market quickly. Mm -hmm. As the counselors uh, certainly know, uh, the city is a regular issuer of long-term debt with current general obligation debt outstanding in the amount of $1.34 billion in total FY20 debt service of approximately $183 million. Uh, as you may also know from time to time, the city, like the vast majority of municipal issuers in the marketplace, engages in refunding transactions. These are transactions in which new bonds are issued at more favorable rates, uh, not necessarily to fund new projects, uh, but in fact to take out old bonds at less favorable rates. Mm -hmm. It is the bond equivalent of refinancing your home mm -hmm. mortgage when rates get lower. Uh, historically, the most frequent type of refunding was known as an advance refunding. This is when an issuer would issue new tax-exempt bonds to take out older tax-exempt bonds ahead of their call dates. In 2018, however, due to the passage of the Tax Reform Act, this practice was banned, leaving issuers only the ability to issue new tax-exempt bonds to take out old tax exempt bonds once those older bonds had already met or passed their call dates, which is generally eight to 10 years after original issuance. This reform has significantly limited issuers' flexibility and has required cities, towns, and states to employ new, new creativity in generating debt service savings and an effort to save taxpayer dollars. As you'd mentioned, the current interest rate environment has presented a unique opportunity for many issuers. This presented a unique opportunity for Boston also. Uh, as you've likely heard, U.S. Treasury securities have demonstrated historically low rates with the current 7- and 10-year Treasury rates dipping below, well below, uh, the equivalent 10-year averages in the municipal market. This has presented uh, an opportunity to again employ the idea of an advance refunding, but because of how we intend to cross the markets, uh, it would not violate the previous ban that we'd referenced. Mm -hmm. With this authorization, the city intends to issue approximately $83 million in taxable bonds to take out approximately $79 million in older tax-exempt bonds. While rates will change between now and the closing, if executed today, the net effect would mean over $6 million in budgetary savings spread over the next 13 years, with nearly 50% of that coming in the next five. Because taxable bonds almost always carry significantly higher rates of interest uh, than tax-exempt bonds, this opportunity is not one that's frequently found. We appreciate your consideration of this refunding authorization and look forward to answering any questions you might have. Great. How, how will this uh, potentially affect the debt service then, uh, or does it at all? It does. Uh, so we expect that over the next 13 years, uh, we're going to recognize somewhere between six and six and a half million dollars in budgetary savings. Wow. So we would essentially net that amount out of the current debt service, and that's how we would realize the savings. Excellent. Right. Uh, that can fund a lot of projects Certainly for the can. city. Um, so, we'll, and this not necessarily push the debt out at all, right? Uh, or will it? That's a great question. Uh, one of the things you have to be careful of, refunding transactions are credit neutral. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, it's slightly credit positive because you're saving on debt service. 
you have to be careful not when you're refinancing debt not to issue longer dated bonds than the current bonds outstanding because then you're not only just getting savings, you're actually pushing, pushing your debt further out. Right. And that could be viewed as a credit negative. Uh, right. We never do that. We're not going to be doing it this time. Uh, we're not doing it from a programmatic standpoint. Mm. Uh, we're only doing this to realize debt service savings. So we'll be matching maturities. Right. So. Um, like your, your uh, initial example of refinancing, if I had 28 years left on my right. mortgage and I refinance, now it's going to go to 30, right. but you have to do the math whether it's worth paying the less money over a, lo a longer term. Right. right. Um, got it. Um, well, I appreciate both of what you guys do. I mean, you have uh, my full confidence in you know, I just know that our city's in really good hands as I leave this chair after a long time and uh, know how strong the city's financial position is and it's due to the great work uh, of the mayor and all of his uh, cabinet level people and uh, look forward to working with you guys still for over the next three months and uh, I will be reporting this out favorably next week and uh, this hearing is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.